This lesson on constant annuities and perpetuities marks a transition from the previous time value of money lessons, where we were dealing with a single amount of money at one point in time, turning into a different single amount of money at a different point in time, into a situation where we're looking at a constant stream of payments. So we have multiple payments, not just one at one time and one at another time. And these payments happen on a regular basis every period, and we'll be speaking about different period lengths. But in this situation, the constant nature of that stream of payments allows the mathematics to develop a formula where there's a single formula that will value that entire sequence of payments. Now what's a pr practical example? Let's think of the series of payments as being a student loan payment. So you're going to pay student loans every month for a certain period of years, and that value of those payments, that's the money you borrow. So that's the money you get up front. A mortgage is the same thing. You get a lump sum of money to buy a house, and then you pay it back with an annuity, where you make a monthly payment all the way through. Companies, as we'll see, do something very similar with bonds when they raise money with that way. They get the money up front, they're targeting a certain amount of money, and then they need to make a certain payment in order to pay that back. So those are all practical examples of annuities. There are fewer practical examples of perpetuities. The difference between the two is that with an annuity, just like with any of the loans we just discussed, there's a finite series of payments. At some point, fortunately, you're done making those payments. With a perpetuity, the perpetual part suggested by the word perpetuity, is that there is an infinite series of payments. They don't end. In practical circumstances, you will find some examples in finance class, but in this lesson, we really only use perpetuities because the formula for perpetuities is relatively simple, and we will motivate your understanding of the more complicated annuity formula as a difference between two perpetuities. We'll be focusing in on Excel and teaching you the formulas, some of which you've already been exposed to, that can be used to solve these annuity and perpetuity problems.